Hey there guys and welcome back to Kirby Triple Deluxe. Looks like we're going up against three world bosses this time around. The tree, the paint thing and the bullshit lava frog. So, not going to be a very particularly interesting episode. Or, well, at least hopefully it's going to go over a lot easier than the first time I fought all those bosses. Except for Wispy Woods. Wispy Woods was easy as hell. Ooh, nice. Mid-air backdrop. Also, Kirby can hang on to walls when he's Ninja Kirby. Makes sense, because that's what ninjas do, mostly. Ooh, what do we have there? I will gladly take Hammer, because Hammer brings the pain. Ooh, donut. Ooh, chocolate. Uh, well, I'll take the donut anyway. Because ch who can pass up a free donut, or free chocolate, or free ice cream? Thank you, Bandana D. So helpful. Okay, when are we going to get to the boss fight? Ooh, ice and beam. Why are they giving me all these lesser abilities? Hammer is all I need. Okay, let's go. It's hammer time. Who's up first? It is... Oh, this one. Okay. Let's go. You know, I just noticed, but... That thing's legs look like paintbrushes. Yes, I know. I'm an idiot for only now figuring that out. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, this is not helping. Oh, nice. Whoa! Oh, this attack takes huge chunks out of his health bar. I knew going with hammer was the right way to go. Come on, Paintra. Oh, damn it. Stop flying away. There we go. Wind up, swing. Only like two more and she's dead already. Oh, hammer. When will you ever stop being a game-breaking ability? Come on. Yes, 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 you have really nice drops of paint coming out your ass. Here we go. Come on. Just hold still for a moment. Stop painting crappy cannons. Oh, that, that one's fake, by the way. Just wait it out. And there she is. Wind up and dead. Get out of here. No one liked you anyway. Probably my least favorite boss in this game. I don't really like the design. I guess the fight's plenty creative. But just the design, just I don't like it. Plus, it kind of reminds there have been way too many bosses in the Kirby series that had the same gimmick, like painting stuff to attack you with. I remember in Nightmare in Dreamland, there was this guy on roller skates who walked around with a crayon, just drawing things that went after you. I think there was one in Kirby 64. Way too overdone, that idea. Ooh, a cherry. Even though I haven't even finished the ice cream yet. I will eat the cherry and then take the ice cream, because the ice cream, I think, heals a lot more than the cherry does. Okay, who's up next? It's gonna be... Wispy Woods. Or Flowery Woods. Whatever. Different name, same thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot he can jump. Kind of an unsettling idea, just... oh, he, shr he shrunk and dodged my attack. Pretty clever there, Flowery Woods. Ah, oh, now we can go back into the background. Fine then, I'll just smack your vines. Or roots, or whatever. Oh, here they come. Move to the left. Or, there we go. Ooh, it's really started raining outside. I don't know if you can hear it in the background, but it is pouring. Hope it doesn't interfere with the... Oh boy. And dead. Didn't even hit him directly. So long, Flowery Woods. That means... The Annoying Lava Frog is up next. Not looking forward to that one. Then again, seeing as how Hammer absolutely destroyed these two... I'm hoping it's gonna do the same for that guy. Because Fighter definitely wasn't the ability to go. Uh... Where am I? I need to go into the foreground. But there's nothing there. This is weird. Oh, hang on. I can drop down. Yes, there's the star. How did I not see that? Pay more attention, General. Avoid the bell guy. I don't want bell. Bell sucks. It, it, it doesn't really suck that much. 
But come on, I have hammer. Hammer always beats bell and leaf and umbrella. Oh, where are we gonna go now? Little uh, cannon round trip. I kind of want to check this out first. That's the portal. And this is going to take me to... Hey, there we go. I knew there had to be something there. Okay, now back down. We... Oh, dim platform. All those platforms are getting in my way. Okay, Fire Ribbit, round two. Let's do this. Oh boy. Yep, still as ugly as ever. Although he does have a pretty nice mustache. Okay, he's gonna do the fire breath. I think you can actually just duck underneath that. It seems to be plenty high up in the air and Kirby's not that tall. Oh, I was expecting... Oh, the bouncing thing again. Whoa, I nailed him while he was bouncing, that was awesome. And yes, Hammer destroys him just as much as it destroys the other two, so that is good to know. Uh, what was he... Oh, and yeah, now we're gonna get the whole rocks thing. By Ribbit used Stealth Rock, it's not really helping him. Because with Stealth Rock it always says, like, oh, Pointed Rocks are floating in the air. Well, those are Pointed Rocks and they are floating in the air, and he's bouncing off of them like a bloody pinball now. So long, Pi Ribbit. Damn, I beat him like five times faster than I did before. Man, get out of here. So, let's uh, mop this up, move to the end of the level gate. Which is right there. And then the star is right here. Excellent. Okay, so now that we have all the world bosses done, what else could they possibly have waiting for me? They pretty much did all the mini-bosses as well in uh, a few levels ago. That little boss rush thing. So, we did all the Hypernova segments as well in the previous episode. I don't really know what else they're going to throw at me at this point. Well, just wait and see, I guess. Anyway, Keychain. It's Pawn and Con. Never heard of him. And King Didi. Whoa, that is an evil smile. I like it. It's like a cocky smirk. Oh. Okay, some flower girl guarded by lots of those bug guys. Okay, let's do this. Guess there's still plenty of time. Okay. Oh, there's a sword guy and some guys in the background. Ooh, nice. Averted both of them. Okay, into the weird crystal thing. Oh, great, more of those black holes. Well, we don't have any choice, so in we go. Where will we end up? Hmm. Pretty nice. Hey, there's, there's that flower girl in a cage. Still wondering what the deal is with these bug guys. They just show up. Whoa, at, like at the end of the game, pretty much. Without any real explanation. Although, if I recall correctly, the, that thing that kidnapped DDD kind of looked like a, uh, like a bug as well, like a spider or something. Maybe Kirby needs to ward, protect these flower people from evil bug people that want to eat them or something. I don't know, it's a Kirby game. It's not like they have Oscar-worthy stories anyway. Okay, and we go to this safe. Great, a lot more black holes. Boy, oh boy. What is that? Oh, should not have asked that question. Tempting fate right there. Where's my hammer? Crap, I lost my hammer. Okay, steer clear of the red things. They are dangerous. Although, again, great use of the 3D. Really digging it. Oh crap, I forgot the... Oh, come on! That's nitpicking. I was barely touching that. Kinda wanna go and get that keychain. No keychain left behind. Why do I keep getting hit by that? Okay, give me the spear. I need an ability. Oh, there's another one of those. It's a purple one that looks like an eggplant. Can't even see. Like, is that the thing's haircut or is that a helmet? Could be both. 
And it, un it unlocks one of the things, so we need to find four more little flower people. Whose names are absolutely unknown because the game has no dialogue whatsoever. Not even any subtitles. Anyway, thanks for the help, Bandana D. We have a needle guy. Let's keep poking up until he walks into it. Genius. And foreground. Okay, there's the flower person. Oh boy, boss fight. Hey, it's bonkers again. Sweet, we can get the hammer ability back. Ah, damn it. Just stay back, keep poking at him. I have the range advantage. And dump right, jump right, you dump right underneath him. That's dirty, Kirby doesn't dump. All the things he eats just go straight to... Well, where do they go? One of the many mysteries of Kirby. Anyway, screw you, bonkers. And there we go, we get the hammer back. Time to smack some fools. Out of the way, butterfly people. Got some more butterfly people over here. I'll smack every single one of you if I have to. And a door. Well, there's nothing else in the way, so might as well go and check out the door. A cannon! Uh, I don't have anything to light the fuse with, though. I don't have fire. Wait, actually... I do! Nice thinking there, level designers. They really expect you to know that... Oh, crap, I messed it up. It's actually a pretty complicated puzzle. Boom, light the fuse. Then wait for it. Wait for the thing to cross this time. There we go. Now... Ooh, almost. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Yes! I'm doing so good at... I'm so well at this. All the way to the right. There we go. And now all the way to the left real quick. And that's how you solve this puzzle. Looks a lot more complicated than it actually is. Also, who the hell needs a fuse that long? It took like 30 whole seconds for the thing to go off. Better be a sunstone at the end of all of this. And there is. Excellent. Makes it all worth it. Okay, pull the lever. And where... Okay, end up right here. With this blue-haired one. That kind of looks like... Uh... What Pokemon was that? Lilligant, I think. Kind of has the same whole flower head thing going on. Okay, two down, three to go. Let's go to this one. It takes us where to... Hmm. Reusing the same parts of the level now, are we? Bit of a bummer. Oh, Archer guy. Okay, so pretty much you can just jump from back to foreground whenever you feel like it in this one. And there's really no particular reason to go either way. Oh, keychain over there, though. And yeah, this'll take me right there, or to the next one. Fancy diamond textures, though. They look pretty good for what the 3DS is capable of. And let's go with Beetle. Because I want to fly. Oh, careful. That screw it will just fly right underneath. Oh, crap. Probably needed the hammer for this. Uh, actually... Nice! Sweet, rare keychain. Ah, uh, General, you and your clever thinking. I mean, I had no idea. I was just guessing. Like, I knew that Beetle had this uh, downward dive move in the air. I didn't think I was going to be able to destroy the pegs. Never hurts to try, though. Anyway, this one, which looks like, I don't know, a bunch of jalapeno peppers. I'm not really much of a, a plant expert, to be honest. Even though tulips are one of my country's main export products. Oh, this. This is also interesting. Always the cannonball hat. Blow that thing up. Avoid the archers. Not really that hard. You gotta love Kirby's little jig he does while he's wearing this thing like why why is he walking so funny 
Like, is the helmet really hot? Or is the are the metal blocks he's walking on really hot? It's weird. Uh, what do I... Oh, okay. Oh, what is with his facial expression? Kirby, is this helmet tormenting you or something? That's weird. Oh, careful note, I don't want to blow that up because... Crap, I think you're actually supposed to blow that up. Because we have to get the, the key down there somehow. Awesome. Oh, my beetle. I need my bug powers. What's the best way to fight a bug? By being a bug. Oh. I thought those things had endless ammo. Well, crap. Guess I'm not going to be able to get that thing down here. Oh, well. At least we'll be able to free the sunflower girl. That's obviously a sunflower. I know that much about flowers. Yes, yes, they're all very happy. You know, I'd like to think if there's ever like a Kirby cart, like a Kirby version of Mario Kart, these things would be in as the Koopalings. Like seven nearly identical characters that aren't really all that popular and just are there to pad out the roster. Or in some cases, in, as in Mario Kart's case, replace more interesting characters that people would have preferred to see in the game a lot more, like Diddy Kong or Birdo or Dry Bones or King Boo or uh, I forget anyone. Still not as bad as Pink Gold Peach though. Pink Gold Peach is an abomination. Whoever thought of Pink Gold Peach deserves to be fired. Anyway, I'm starting to think Beetle is definitely a pretty handy ability to have here because you can just kind of hover in place. Huh, no door? Oh boy. Whoa. Oh crap. Nice, I went the right way. Why is it... Why does it keep resetting? Careful. This one. Alright. Just give me the door already. Bloody hell. Okay, in the middle. Nice. See, the hovering really helps in that situation. Okay. Oh, nice. Caught him. Think you can jump on me, huh? Oh yeah, it also has an upward dash. So many moves this ability has. I like it. Anyway. Okay, that one just looks like a Roserade. Let's look at that. Okay, Roserade doesn't have those pollen things coming out of her head. But that definitely looks like one. Anyway, that's Flower Fairy number five. Get this safe open. What could be in here? Is it epic amounts of loot? Probably not because Kirby doesn't really care about money. Perhaps the big bad is sealed in there. Because that's kind of a recurring theme in Kirby games. Like the big evil villain is always sealed away in something and then Kirby always ends up accidentally releasing it or whatever. Oh jeez. Two of those things. I don't think they've ever had you fight too many bosses at the same time. That could be... Oh, hell yeah. I like where this is going. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Time for more Hypernova shenanigans. You thought we had enough of those in the last episode? I don't think so. Even mini bosses don't stand a chance against the Hypernova Kirby. And here's another one. With a head that looks like... A pile of ice cream. I don't know what flower that was. I know two of them. No match as well. Oh man, the Hypernova ability gives you such a rush. Makes you feel so powerful. Wait, that one looks the exact same as the last one. I'm just recycling them now? Hey, Blocky. My old nemesis. Boom, you're dead. And here's another one. Three of the same kind. Are they triplets? Perhaps? Hey, there's Mr. Flopsy. Get in my belly as well, plenty of room. Anyway, who's next? Hey, there's two... Oh, yes. Die. Ho, ho. Crushed by a giant block. Awesome, and here's the fourth one. Why are they all identical? 
they just ran out of flowers or something? Anyway, where does this go? Ah, I'll take that happily. And go straight back. Okay, back up, go through the door. Probably eat some more mini-bosses. We haven't gone through all of them yet. Who do we have next? Hey, two bonkers with metal hammers. I like. Definitely a better color scheme than regular bonkers. And here's another one, and there's five of the same ones. Really now? Oh boy, three of those useless guys. Well, there's room for all three of you inside Kirby's belly. Even easier than killing them with the Archer ability. Not that much easier though, because Archer absolutely destroys those guys. Hey, three wheels. Oh, one of them in the background. Well, fine, get over here and die if that's what you desire. Excellent. Thank you for diving into the foreground and dying. Uh, why is that thing there? Is there anything in the background? It does seem to continue on the left. Let's check that out. Maximum tomato and another sunstone. I'll take that, I suppose. Because we're probably going to need a couple of them to get to the boss of this world. Who I'm guessing might be the final boss. Because they're definitely throwing all sorts of stuff at me now that makes me think this is the final world. Hey, four of them. Go on, Beetle, you as well. Don't want to leave you out. Everyone gets to party in Kirby's Belly. And that is number six. Six or... Yeah, I think six. Six or seven. Bloody hell, why are there so many of them? Anyway, take me to the final boss. Wait, Flowery Woods is the final boss? Oh, yes. Give me all your branches. Oh, no, oh, even the health bar. Oh, Kirby, you're so fourth wall breaking all of a sudden. And that was awesome. Oh, man. Eh, there we go, end of the level gate. Excellent. He's killed Flowery Woods three bloody times. Although I think he's not going to be coming back from this one. Not unless Kirby poops him out again. Maybe that's how Flowery Woods procreates. Like he's evolved to let Kirby eat him and then Kirby craps out his seeds and then from that a new Flowery Woods will grow. And I'm just grasping at straws at this point. Anyway, keychains. We have Wheelie. We have Macho Statue. That is awesome. I want a macho statue standing here in my bedroom. And a golden egg statue, the logo of HAL Laboratories. And 8-bit King DDD. He's come a long way since then. Like, his head was huge. Okay, seven. I have seven. There we go, boss. Is that... Well, it does seem to be the thing that kidnapped DDD. So let's go and rescue DDD in the next episode of Kirby Triple Deluxe. Bye-bye.